forgot your school bag again. Oops. Thanks, Miss Ladybird. <laughs> Honestly, Busby, you'd forget your head if it wasn't screwed on properly. I'm not that bad. Yes, you are. What about when you forgot to watch Mama's cakes and they all burnt? <laughs> <laughs> and when we had our tennis competition and you forgot to bring the tennis rackets. <laughs> <laughs> and when you forgot it wasn't fancy dress at the school disco. <laughs> oh, yes. But at least I don't forget the important things. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Busby. Don't forget what day it is. I won't! It's Saturday tomorrow and Barnaby's birthday. I definitely haven't forgotten that. <laughs> Barnaby's going to love this. There you go. Thanks, Millicent. Uh, Busby, haven't you forgotten something? Oops. <laughs> Thanks, Millicent. <laughs> Night, Busby. Don't forget, I've left Barnaby's present on the table. I'll be out early tomorrow morning, so have a lovely day. OK, Mama. Night. Good morning. Oh, morning, Busby. I'm glad you're up. Jump has a brand new trick. Watch this. Apple fetch. <laughs> Whoa, cool trick. And he didn't even eat it. Oh, we've been training hard. He can collect pretty much anything now. Barnaby has to see this. Can I take Jump with me to play? No problem. He'll enjoy the exercise. Great. Thanks, Grandpa. Come on, Jump. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Busby. Hi, Barnaby. I've got something really cool to show you. Oh, really? Thanks. Herbie got me something really cool, too, for my book. Watch this. Jump, stick, fetch! Good jump. Who's a clever boy, then? Grandpa says he can fetch anything. Go on, Barnaby. You try. Barnaby, where are you going? I don't feel great. Look, Barnaby. Jump wants to play. Barnaby! Hi, Mama. Good day. A very good day, thanks. I'm surprised to see you back so early. I just took Jump back to Grandpa. I thought you'd have a lot of playing to do on Barnaby's birthday. <gasps> no! Oh, no! I'd forgotten Barnaby's birthday! That's why he didn't want to play. I'm the worst friend ever. Oh, Busby, you're so forgetful. You'd better go and find him and say sorry. Hey, Jasper. Hey, Busby. Where are you going? I'm on my way to Barnaby's to give him his present. Oh, I've just been there. He was feeling a bit down in the dumps, so he didn't want to come out to play. Oh, I really wanted to give this to him myself. Sorry. Got to go, Busby. Football practice. See you later. I'm a bad friend. No, you're not. You're a forgetful friend. You didn't mean to forget his birthday. You'll just have to make it up to him somehow. Show him how important he is to you. Night, Busby. Tomorrow's a brand new day. Things will be better. Hmm. Good morning, all. It's a brand new day. Can't stop, got lots of organising to do. You've perked up. What are you up to? I've got to organise the best day after your birthday ever for Barnaby. <laughs> hey, Barnaby! Wait up! Wait! Please, Barnaby! I'm so sorry I forgot your birthday, Barnaby. Miss Ladybird was right. I would lose my head if it wasn't screwed on properly. Hmm. But do you know what I have remembered? 
Happy day after your birthday! You're going to have the best day after your birthday ever! Come on! I've had a brilliant day after my birthday. You're the best friend ever, even if you are the most forgetful. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Just sorry it was a bit late. I'm going to try and be less forgetful from now on. Oh, I'm a bit sleepy. I think I'll get in my sleeping bag. Oh no! I forgot the sleeping bags! Well, it's a good job someone remembered to bring them then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.